up guys, what is up and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today we are going over the last part of the new update. It only took me about a week to cover everything, so a little bit sorry about that, but here we have it. And it is a relatively simple one that, uh, you know, a lot of you guys will actually be able to use even early on. So this bad boy here, the bola, the bola bola, is unlocked at level 10. All it takes to craft it, five measly threat. Thratch, thatch, English hard. Three stones and ten fiber, so extremely easy to craft and uh, extremely useful as well, as you will probably see here in a second. So, pretty much what this happens is you throw it at an opponent's feet and it disables their getaway as it wraps them and entangles them in it. Now, this can be used on wild dinosaurs, on tamed dinosaurs, and on other players. However, it does not work on all dinosaurs. So I will actually give you guys a list of the dinosaurs here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna list it off really quickly now. Or, uh, no, you know what? We're gonna show it off. So Mr. Parasaur, whoop, as you can see, wraps right around those measly legs of his. He is no longer capable of movement. And uh, what are you doing, Ovi? Where'd the OV wrap? Oh, there it is. It ran away. I thought that thing just pulled a Houdini. So these things, once thrown, they will leave them incapacitated for 30 seconds. They can be recovered as well. And then you can see it. Actually, hold up. I should probably. These things aren't. My ammo's not going down. Did I enable infinite stats on accident? I may have. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this works now. Get back your Parasaur. Cool. This is going to be a perfect hunting type thing, and uh, I just want to see it. You can recover them as well, so right before you kill something. No, it only removes it. JK, they are not recoverable, so once you throw them, they're stuck there. Now that that's discovered, I'm putting infinite stats back on, because I like having infinite manly bolas. So, awesome thing about this, well actually, as you can see, I think if I hit this Dillo, it's still capable of spitting at me. It still aggro's like, I don't know, yeah, see? It can still spit, it just can't move at all, and then I can remove it as well. Uh, and it lasts for 30 seconds of pop. I can throw more, I think, and that will extend the duration. So, after 10 seconds, you can reapply it, I think. So, let's see how long this takes. Uh, we'll just keep on kind of throwing on more. Oh, no, he's got a friend. See you later, Dilo. Whoop! As you can see, it's just really useful, really cheap. Oh, okay. So, I don't know if that really did work. I don't know if it stacks like that, but uh, let's see. Oh, holy crap, I'm throwing that. I'm, I'm sort. Oh, Jesus. That thing, yeah, it looks like the old ones got, like, fried off. But anyways, as you can see, as I swing it, it appears that I do start swinging it faster. And, uh, whoop. I don't know. I don't know if when I swing it faster, I, I do think that this one, it does reapply the 30 seconds. Something like that. It seems like it. And, uh, the, it does aggro the enemy once you do do it. You can also use it on Fiomias. I feel like the longer you hold it, the farther the throw goes. And if I just hold it for a little bit... Okay, so that's where it landed. If I hold it for a while to the point where it speeds up, it should land... Yeah, so it does actually go farther. Now, the question is, can I bowl on myself by throwing this straight up in the air? I'm gonna try and catch it, guys, so I can show you guys what it's like to be bowled. Come on down, Mr. Bola. Bola, 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 bola. Oh, I've been caught. No, I haven't. I can't hit myself. I don't know. That was odd. Definitely odd. Okay, let's take two, I guess. See if we can catch ourselves. I don't know what it's doing here. All right, come on, Mr. Bullet. Whoop. I don't know. I hear it hit something. I don't know if it's hitting us, but that is pretty much how the bola works. So what you're able to do is entangle someone for about 30 seconds, and it does also work on humans. However, uh, if you do get a human, they are still capable of firing guns, shooting arrows, and attacking. So it is a little bit, a little bit like that. And I do think that you can apply a new bola to your target. Just you gotta wait 10 seconds before doing so. And uh, the player can also still jump. If you do get a player, but they cannot move. And dinos cannot be mounted while affected by the bola. It cannot be recovered once thrown. And while dinos aggro when hit by the bola, as I mentioned, but seem to lose interest much quicker than usual, which does make sense, as we saw with the Dillo. Uh, a lot of this information here that I'm kind of reading off, I'm just getting from the wiki, because that wiki is awesome. So if you ever want to look for more ARC info, you know, check that place out. Because really, it's got a lot of info. But, uh... Yeah, so that's about it. This is just a really easy to make early game object. Very easy, level 10. Like I said, 5 thatch, 3 stone, 10 fiber. You should be able to make quite a lot of these. And they do serve as a useful weapon, because if you get a player, 
they're not going to be able to chase you. So if you're running away, bolo a player, you could get some nice distance between you two. You could bolo some creatures before you start attacking them for hunting. So they really do give a lot of variety. So like early game when you maybe don't have a good method of killing a parasaur, but you need some meat. Bull them, beat them to death, and you got some meat, man. It's a win-win. So, yeah, and then also even in battles, you know, if you could bowl us some of the enemies, bowl us some of the play enemy players, bowl us some enemy dinos. A lot of potential here, but that's about it for the bolas. Now, you probably want to know what is actually affected by the bola, and I will let you know. Straight from the wiki, the creatures affected by this are the Beelzebufo, the Castoroidus, a.k.a. the Beaver, the Compi, the Dilophosaur, the Dimorphodon. Oh, the Dimorphodon, really? Is there a Dimorphodon anywhere? I saw one flying around earlier. I don't know, maybe. Okay, so the Dire Wolf as well, the Dodo. Gallimimus Kairaku, that adorable little penguin. Get out of here, Dillo. Oh, no, he's running away. Yeah, I don't know. It's like they're scared of being entangled again. Too bad you're getting entangled. Uh, the Kairaku. Adorable little penguin. The Lystrosaurus, which is that cute dog looking thing. A Megaloceros, aka the reindeer. Mesopithecus, the little monkey. Oviraptor, a Pachy. Parasaur, Pteranodon, Pulmonoscorpius, which is the scorpion. Theomia, Raptor, Sabertooth, Terror Bird, Humans, and the Procoptodon. All of these can be affected by this. And uh, in the cases of things such as the Gallimimus and the Procoptodon, it will make taming them a lot easier. Because one thing that's very hard to do when you're taming those guys is specifically kind of hunt them down. Like the Gallimimus and the Procoptodon, because they're so fast. So if you could bolo them first, man, they can't move. Keep reapplying it, and you could easily knock them, knock them out a little bit easier. And it appears to be... Oh my god, there's a Parasaur? What's that Parasaur on top of? Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, but all the bigger dinos really will not be affected by it. And I would love to hit a Parasaur, not a Parasaur, a Pteranodon here. And see what it's like if you hit a Flyer with Ebola. Do they just come crashing into the ground or what's up? So, hopefully we can hit one of these. Let's do the wind up, the throw, and... Ah, uh, we missed it. Damn it. Alright, this part, this one, uh, I want to wait for him to take off though. There we go. There we go, he took off. And if we hit him... He gets weighted down, so very good way of taking down a Pteranodon and knocking them out easily. Because after you hit a Pteranodon with your first, uh, what is it, after you hit them with your first Bola, usually they'll just, not Bola, <laughs> with your first Trank Arrow, usually they'll just fly away. In this case, you can bring them down nice and easy. So really, this is a fantastic thing, but it doesn't work for a lot of the harder dinosaurs to get like the bigger ones and the strong ones. So in the case of this, it definitely comes in handy just for kind of the lethal smaller ones. So for example, the Dire Wolf, the Sabretooth, a couple of things like those, and also the Flyers, since those are, well, specifically the Pteranodon, that's only a Flyer that's affected by this, I think. But also kind of fast ones like the Oviraptor that run away, Gallimimus, I don't know if the Oviraptor really, but like the Gallimimus. What's the other one? I'm derping hard. Gallimimus, Gallimimus, and the Procoptodon. Yeah, I think maybe the Terror Bird. Is that one fast? I don't know. But it's just a good way of immobilizing creatures. Potentially as a getaway. So it's going to be a good little backup to have. And uh, early game, I feel like it's going to be very, very important. But, well, not maybe very important, but very useful. Like, he, we've survived this long without Bolas. We'll continue to survive without them. But goddamn, they are extremely useful. And extremely easy to craft. And, uh... A very welcome addition in my eyes. So let me know what you guys think about the bolas in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what potential uses you could come up with them. I, I feel like I listed most of them, but if you got any new ones or for if you want to let me know like your favorite use, something you're definitely going to try out, let me know. But uh, other than that, that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video as always, and hopefully I'll see you next one.